Good afternoon, good afternoon. This is Marie Holiday, and I hope everybody having a great Veterans Day today. Today is Wednesday, November 11, 2020, and I want to uh, salute all of my uh, soldiers, rather your soldier, Army, Air Force, Marine, Navy, Coast Guard, active duty, retired. I want to salute all of my soldiers in in by the grace of god god is the true protector of this world and he just gives the soldiers and the airmen in the in the, in the navy and the coast guard and the marines we got just gives us the skills to assist in the protector of this world so with that being said uh, i'm going to uh honor veterans day by uh just giving the audience just some insight on uh, women in the military are uh, in terms of what we go through to make it through basic training or uh, men too but because I am a veteran I served during the uh, Desert Storm era uh, as a United States Marine I'm well traveled I received my honorable discharge I, uh, I am speaking from experience uh, but I'm also you know giving just just praise and, and grace to all of our uh, current active duty uh, members in, in, uh, in the rather you're in the military, Marine Corps, uh, Coast Guard, Army, Navy, Air Force. I want uh, to salute my, my my team out there. So with that being said, you know I just do want to get some insight on what women go through. First of all, they survive basic training. Rather, it's, it's Marine Corps or uh, Air Force, Army, Navy, Coast Guard. Uh, it's some similarities of what we go through in terms of basic training. There are some differences. So I'm going to speak from my experience of, of surviving Paris Island as a young recruit. And when I went in and all women go to Paris Island, men do go there too. But if you are a woman Marine and, and, and wore that uniform, I'm here to tell you, you can relate to what I'm talking about in terms of surviving Paris Island. To, in order to become a Marine. Uh, so just pay attention. You know, I went in at an early age of 20, 21 years old. Uh, and I joined the Marine Corps. Uh, what made me select the Marine Corps was I just loved their uniforms. You know, I was born and raised in St. Petersburg, Florida. You know, uh, my family from Florida. Uh, if anybody's listening to this, you all are aware that we came up back in the day with the old Join Park uh, before they tore it down and rebuilt it. You can feel where I'm coming from. So my experience as a young recruit or uh, entering Paris Island in my early 20s, you know, if the audience is aware, that is a 13-week basic training. I remember that quite well. Um, and I ended up serving 26 weeks because I got injured in basic training. So make a long story short, I ended up, uh, ended up in basic training for 26 weeks. As a soldier, I don't care if you're a soldier, Marine, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, these are some basic skills that we're taught in basic training. Uh, we are trained and we're taught, uh, uh, especially Marines, we are trained and taught basic survival skills. Uh, marksmanship, you know, the weapon of choice uh, in the military, Marines, you know, we back then we were trained on the M16 rifle with the iron sights back then. We are trained in land navigation, uh, trained in how to maneuver under enemy fire as a Marine. Uh, we had to go through various academic and physical exams in order to graduate basic training to become that soldier. And I'm here to tell you, that's an experience I will not ever forget as long as I live. And, and I'm speaking, I'm speaking from personal experience uh, in, in, in some commonalities are uh, in basic training in order to, be, to wear that uniform uh, in, in, in the armed forces. I remember uh, we were placed in a gas chamber uh, is all about is no individuality in the military. And I remember going through our, our, our boot camp, one of the our skill trainers that we had to go through is we're literally placed in a real gas chamber where they sent us in there. And I don't know if you all have ever been in a gas chamber. And when they turn that gas on, you cannot get out. Gas is pitch dark. Because when we had to order to take that mask off, 
and you trying to breathe that gas, I'm here to tell you all your body fluid is going to come up. Your, 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 all kind of body fluids coming out of your eyes, your nose, your mouth, because you're suffocating. You're in that gas chamber. You can't breathe. That stuff getting under your skin. You choking to death, and you about to die. And when they tell you to take that mask off, you take it off. And when you take it off, if one person slow about taking it off, you hear 20 other people in there suffering until you take your mask off. And that's one experience and training we had to go through in uh, basic training. What I experienced in terms of becoming a Marine, because they say once you're a Marine, you're always a Marine. I got an honorable discharge. Those skills and survival skills and all of that will be within me until the day I die. I want to talk about, you know, not just military as a whole. I also want to put emphasis on women. Let me just touch bases on, you know, women who are veterans or women who are serving in any branch of the military audience. I'm here to tell you, and this is just me talking. This is my belief. You know, I believe every young woman should experience that experience of being in the military. I don't care if you go in and stay in for four years or make it a career because let me break this thing down to you. First of all, what happens when a woman go in the military who's grounded? It will enhance her leadership skills and qualities. It will enhance that one young woman's sense of pride, self-esteem, self-worth. It will enhance that young woman's drive to become focused. And women who have got that additional edge, we don't quit at anything. I don't care if it's or going to school to get your bachelor's degree or your associate's degree, your master's degree, to, to, to change how you eat or, or any kind of goal you're going after, you will not quit. Women who, who have those enhanced skills by serving and wearing that uniform, rather you know it or not, you also become a role model. You become a role model for other young girls who may aspire to wear a specific uniform in a specific branch of the military. So those are just some benefits of, of how women can benefit by going in the military. My daughter's right now serving in Japan. She's in the Navy. Um, and, and I'm here to tell you, you know, although we got, although we got, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, make no mistake, world, make no mistake, world, make no mistake. God, first of all, is the true defender of this world. I'm going to say that again. The Almighty God in reality is the true defender of this world. All God do is give the men and women in all of those branches of the military, the skills to assist in defending this world, to assist from, 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 from the enemy domestic and far away. And I just wanted the audience to hear that. And with that being said, if you pay attention to this here, here we go. Women in the military, those are women Marines, at Paris Island, basic training, getting the skills that they need. All women go through Paris Island. And we are trained in all areas of, like I said, survival skills, land navigation. We are trained to eat, drink, and sleep and breathe that M16. We, we, we we're trained that the goal, the goal, ultimate goal is they take us in tear us down psychologically and physical, and they're going to rebuild that woman as a Marine. She's going to come out. She's not going to come out of Paris Island the same. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, simplify, simple fidelis. Simple fidelis is Latin. Anybody who's Marine know what I'm talking about. Simple fidelis is Latin. And it means always faithful. Simplify. Hope you all got something out of this.